What's up, homies? This is your boy here, Big Deuce. I'm out here right now for the check on this meat and see if it's done, which is not done. I've been out here for the longest trying to keep this fire going, but my boy Joe had put some wood in here, and some of this wood might have been wet, so that's probably why it's not really burning properly the way it should. So, so I'm going to try here and try to blow it out. Not blow it out, but I'm going to try and try to keep this fire going a little bit long enough for the chicken to cook. Okay. See if it's gonna do something. Hate when this shit happens. When it comes to wood, you have to keep working with it. You have to keep blowing and blowing until the wood gets completely burnt up. Not completely burnt up, but I mean for the fire to be able to light the wood up and keep the fire burning for a long period of time. But it's difficult because it's been raining and my boy has had this wood out here for no telling how long. So I got to come out here and play doctor with it. This shit's a pain in the fucking ass, man. <sighs> Had to leave this thing up so it can be able to catch this wood on fire. It comes with the territory when it comes to um, cooking wood. Not cooking wood, but barbecuing. With you. Uh, damn it, man. Ain't that a bitch? Cooking them bitches on the side. I understand that real so keeping a lot of wood to kick up and not it's starting to starting to catch on fire now. But this shit is a pain in the ass. That means I have to leave this bitch up. So the wind pretty much blew this bitch out. Let me get a camera in there. There you go. It's starting to come up a little bit. Got to that wind stop blowing up. It was going hard. Mm -hmm. for the best. That's why we're trying to cook over here. The chicken so that gets stuck with the thigh when it comes to barbecuing, but when it comes to frying, they separate it completely. You know what I mean? Which is kind of crazy, though.
because I ain't never really got that. A lot of people will barbecue their chicken with the thigh and the legs stuck together. But when it comes to frying, they separate the thigh from the leg. That's because when you barbecue it, that shit shrinks, bro. <laughs> when you fry it, it stay intact. That's why you cut it when you fry it and you barbecue it whole. I mean, those are them chicken thighs, man. Those are cat legs right there. Yeah, that's a monster cat leg right there. That's a monster cat leg. Call it cat leg. Look at the way it looks, bro. Damn, There ain't nothing else in the world, man. What else we gonna eat? Animals. Nah, I ain't eating humans, bro. Nah, they stink, bro. I become a veggie after that shit. After I eat all the cats, I become a vegetarian. I won't eat no cat, but I eat me um something that is related to the deer or or the bees, moose or cow in that kind of form of ancestry. In that category. Well, so this is you got all... people that eat monkeys. Oh, nah, man, nah, that's too far, bro. Those people, are the... people in um, Africa that eat bush meat. Yeah. I don't, in I don't India, too. In India, too. They, in India eat, too. they eat monkey's brains, bro. Uh, and you know how they do it? They have a round table, and they put the monkey's head, and he's trapped. And they start banging him, man, with a fucking spoon. And he's screaming and screaming. And then it cracked it open to eat his brain like that, bro. Oh it was on Faces of Death, the first Faces of Death. Did they eat it raw? Oh, they eat it raw. I'm going to look it up later. I'm going to show you. Without cleaning? Oh. Nothing, man. He's live, bro. He's alive. He just killed the motherfucker. They eating that shit fresh. I wouldn't do that. Yeah. There got to be some kind of a ritual. Or yeah, I wouldn't do that. That's like going off the that's like going off the chain right yeah. there, bro. That's like going off the you, you, nah man. I won't do that shit. Nah. I mean there ain't nothing else in the world, bro, and I see a cat going around. I'm bagging it, bro. <laughs> man, I, it's, I wouldn't get the craziest one though. Are you gonna get a vulture? Then again, you know, I mean, I don't know how would that just taste but Dude, when you hungry, everything tastes good, bro. When you hungry, anything tastes good, bro. You know that's the truth. <laughs> to make more fucking arrows. <laughs> make more arrows, bro, to catch them more. The vulture um feather would be good for an arrow. Oh, yeah, because they're longer. They did. That's for the long, you can use it for the long bow. Mm -hmm. Keep that bitch up in the air. No telling how many actors we will get. Maybe we'll be sitting out here right now. See a damn arrow. And we're like, what the? F and that bitch came down and landed on one of us. And you know what? You know what's so funny? It will happen so fast that we just look up and be like, what the? <laughs> That's it. See a whole bunch of shit up in the sky. All down. Just like that movie 300. Mm hmm. Persians and had some damn arrows. Boy, that was up there like. Yeah. <laughs> well, he said it. He said he's gonna turn the, they're gonna turn the moon black, and we gotta fight it through it. Remember? Fighting in the shade. Yep. <laughs> yep. Fighting in the shade. But the immortals, man, now those are beasts. That's, that's my cousin Brian. That's Brian over there. He's over there on top yeah, of these YouTube already, you know. And now when we went to go ride to go get those crabs. Because they had like a little get together or whatever. Where That's what I want to do next. That's what I want to do next. Yeah, I had rolled with him. So, if you want to see that video, you can go up on my channel and you can find that video where chilling that cousin Brian part one, two, and three. You know, go on my channel and you can find that. There you go. Go on this channel. You got ten. You got ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Y'all ready for the second five, half? Four. Close this shit off and then go 